Hi everybody, it's Kathy Driscoll from the Nature Foundation. We are on activity seven of 22 days of Earth Day. And today I thought it'd be kind of fun to make something that would be relaxing for us. We are going to make a Zen garden. And all you need are a few things from the house. For example, an old picture frame, a glue gun, or you could use uh, wood glue is very good as well. And sand. If you can find sand, it would be great. Or rocks or dirt, because rocks and dirt is really all about the Zen garden. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the glass out of the frame. We don't need this. We'll discard this. We'll put the cardboard back in the frame. And I have lots of old frames. So for me, this is a wonderful thing to do to stay busy while we are distancing ourselves from other people and spending more time alone and thinking about ourselves. So this is a great activity. First thing you're going to do, really very simple, is you're going to come back, flip it around on the back side and glue around the back of your Zen garden because you don't want any of the sand to go through the garden and, and it adds more to my glue gun here. Now, some Zen gardens are actually outside. People like to have them in different forms and shapes but basically it's made of sand and natural materials which we have lots of in nature you don't necessarily have to have moss or driftwood you just have a few stones. But the most important component to a Zen garden is to have what they call a Zen rake. Now I know this is a teeny tiny rake. This is for a mini version of a Zen garden. But if, even if you had just a fork around the house, because you're basically tending to your garden with a rake. And that is the most tranquil thing to do. All I need is my sand. So I'm just going to add some sand to my this indoor garden. This is my mobile garden. You can have a huge Zen garden if you'd like. Or you could have a mini Zen garden with a mini rake. So I'm just spreading my sand around. It's almost like frosting a cake, actually. And a little bit more sand. There. So Zen rock gardens, known as the dry mountain waters, have been used in ancient Asia for meditational purposes and items that were commonly found included rocks so if you know me and you know how I love geology now and in particular crystals so I love quartz Rose quartz. Mm. I'm going to shoot for a jasper for colors. Oh, I am going to take it out. And I guess I could put it here in the corner. But I might rather just have my three crystals just randomly around in my garden. You can include 
essential oils, which I totally love lavender because it's very relaxing. If you put it, that on your crystals, it helps bring in that essence as you basically rake your garden and practice that meditation. So you can use rocks, natural materials, and I'm pulling these out because some of my viewers like to be at the beach, especially as we're getting into the warmer months. So I have a few of my seashells and again, this is a time for you to relax, be a part of nature, and think about yourself, think about your family. But most of all, be a part of nature because she is beautiful.